Welcome to today's teaching session. The purpose of this teaching session is to show you how to share iPhone photos via an iCloud link. I'm using an iPhone. I'm inside my photos. I can either select individual photos one by one, or I can select a large amount of photos by holding my finger down and then sliding across the screen. In this sample, you'll see how I'm tapping images out of sequence, and then you'll see how five check marks show up in a row quite quickly. In order to achieve that, I simply held my finger down on the far left and then slid over to the far right. You can also slide at a diagonal and then capture multiple rows simultaneously. Additionally, if you change your mind and you would like to unselect a few of these images, you can simply go back and tap on each of those so that they are no longer part of your selection. Once you would like to move on to the very next step, you're going to head down to the bottom left corner to the share button. Tap one time in order to select how you would like to share those images. In this area, I'm going to take my finger and slide up the screen so that I move down in order to find the copy iCloud link option. Right here on my screen, you'll notice how it says copy iCloud link. This is the one that I would like to use. I'm going to tap one time right here where it says copy iCloud link. When I do that, an iCloud link will be prepared for me. Please note that if you do not have adequate storage in iCloud, this process will malfunction and it will not work properly for you. For those of you who have adequate storage in iCloud, this will work just fine. Once that link has been prepared, this screen will disappear. The next step I'm going to perform is that I'm going to head over to my email client. So however you normally navigate an email, go ahead and head that direction. You do have the option of pasting it in a text message and sending it in a text message, but I'm going to use the mail option. I'm now going to open up Microsoft Outlook. Inside Microsoft Outlook, I'm going to choose the Create a New Mail Message button down in the bottom right corner. When I tap that one time, I will then have the option of sending an email. I'm going to send it to myself because I want to send it to my computer. So I'll type my name in, I'll find myself, I'll tap one time. I'm going to head into the body of the email and I'm going to hold my finger down for about three seconds. When I do this, this menu right here will appear. From these options, I'm going to tap one time where it says paste and the link that was just created for only the pictures that I selected will be available here. It may not be necessary to choose a subject, but I always put a subject in there. Once you've constructed that email, go ahead and head up to that right hand corner and send that email. You're obviously not limited to just using Outlook in order to send yourself an email. If you would like to use some other tool on your phone, in order to send that email, you're more than welcome to do that. I just usually email myself. And then you'll see live on the screen right here that that email just arrived. I'm now going to transition to my computer in order to continue this process. So here I am in my computer. I've saved you the time. I didn't open up the email and actually click on the link. I fast forwarded just a couple steps and I'm officially inside of the link that was shared, created by Apple, and it just has the pictures that I selected. Here I am in Google Chrome. It probably doesn't matter if you're using Edge or Brave or another resource, but right now I'm using Chrome. And over here on the right, it says download. Over here on the left, it says deselect all. I do have the ability to go in and select or deselect images if I would like to. If I, uh oh man, I included a couple extra pictures that I didn't need to. It's up to you if you want to deselect those. And then go ahead and click the download button one time. When you click the download button one time, this box will appear. I always scoot over to the left and click download. 
I don't feel the need to sign in and import. I just simply use that download button on the left hand side and then after you've had a chance to click download you'll notice that those files will download in that bottom left hand corner. I'm using a Windows device. If you have an Apple based computer you would not use this product. product. I would assume that you would link it and then you would be able to access those files easily. This is really only for a Windows based computer. So you'll notice right down here that the zip folder has downloaded to the computer. The default location for this computer is the downloads folder. When you click on that zipped folder, it will open up into a window that looks like this. The one strategy that might work for you in order to unzip that folder is to click right here where it says extract all. And when you do that, a new folder will be created so that you can actually access those files. After you've had a chance to click extract all, this other window will appear. And if you choose to select a specific folder or a destination for those images, you can make those choices here. The easiest would just be to choose the extract button and then you'll have access to those images. Once I click extract, a new folder will appear where all of those images that I just downloaded are now accessible in the computer. At this point, you can easily select all of these images and then drag them to whatever the new destination is. If you have a specific folder on your computer where they need to go, you can drag and drop them there. Or if you need to drag and drop them into a folder inside Google Drive, you're more than welcome to do that. Now, I'm fully aware that you can share those images in Google Drive on your iPhone, but sometimes the file conversion is not very friendly. And so this could be your workaround to make sure that you have access to those files and then anyone you're sharing those files with also has the ability to access these images. All right, team, thank you so much for watching today's video and have a great day.